It's the most wonderful time of the year, but the holidays can also hurt. Many people struggle to find the Christmas cheer that others thrive on. And if this sounds familiar to you, know that you're not alone. Carlin Priscilla is here now to help us choose joy this season. And Car, it's always good to have you in here. Um, it can be a tough one. The winter yes. blues are a real thing. And it's sometimes even harder because everyone around you is celebrating and you're thinking, I'm not having a lot of fun. So you feel that pressure this time of year to like be cheerful when maybe you're not you're not. Yes, absolutely. And in addition to the regular winter holiday blues, mm. now we're also bringing over the PTSD from 2020 and this year. And hey, we're still in the middle of a pandemic. So yeah. an end of the year tends to also bring up a lot of anxiety around the new normal that we're planning for, which we don't know what will come up and what will happen. Yes. So this is why this year I encourage everyone to reimagine or rethink your holiday joy toolkit so that you can better manage and cope. Oh, see, I like that. So you've got some strategies for that. So what tips would you give an individual dealing with um, all of the things you've spoken about? Yeah, I would say start with self. Set yourself yeah. up for success. And the first thing is to, I call it your holiday energy check-in. You know, on a scale of one to 10, where are you today? And if it's a nine or maybe it's a five, then you can manage your own expectations and that will help set you up for success and also support your family members and your community also even better. Yeah. Um, giving yourself permission to remember the things that bring you joy. You know, for example, I go back through my success planner and I was like, oh, right, I forgot I did that, right? Yes. So it's, it's like a little bit of a booster. And also um, taking some time to reach out to friends and family. Um, there might be stories that you forgot and there might be things that you actually created with your family members that brought you joy that you can relive in the moment as well. And when it comes to your family members, because you've done that holiday check-in, yeah. encourage them to do the same so that when you're doing some date ideas together, you can say, hey, maybe for Tracy, I'll do a cocoa and comfy PJ's night. But yeah. there might be another family member who might want to maybe do a movie's night. And even for me, starting off with Elf, which is my favorite holiday yes. movie, always brings a smile smile to my face. And, and T, I have to mention about, you know, community care, because yeah. sometimes when you're deep in those winter blues, actually reaching out and helping someone. Mm. So whether it's, you know, maybe there's a neighbor that you might want to go help to decorate the yard or the home or um, give into a community center yes. or donate into a women's shelter that, you know, research shows that when we reach out and help others outside of our immediate self and circle, it actually ends up boosting our joy container as well. I love that tip. So a lot of families have lost loved ones. It's a mm. pandemic, yeah. right? So it, this would be particularly hard for them. What advice do you have for people who are grieving at yeah. this time? It's, it's so hard. And even just for me personally, last year my husband lost his dad to, to cancer. And last oh, year was I'm hard. Sorry. Yeah, thank it was. You. Last year was hard. And this yeah. year, we don't know how grief will show up. So yep. again, giving yourself space to feel all the feelings that come up honoring your grief emotions. Mm -hmm. uh, one day might be you're down in the slums, another day you might be feeling that joy again. Don't judge yourself, give yourself some room for you to actually identify what are some of my coping skills. And then building new tradition with family as well, right? Mm -hmm. uh, creating a plan for family members who are no longer here, who will fill that role if they did hold a specific role during the holiday um, um, celebrations. And and the last thing that I would say is give yourself permission to create new holiday traditions. And I Actually, mm -hmm. I brought one of those ideas to you, Trace. Joy, bingo, yes. I'm in. Yes. So how does this tradition work? So, so this like new it. tradition, because this year we had to redefine what success looks like. So yes. creating a joy bingo, all the things I mentioned. What are some of the things that brought you joy? Yeah. What are some of the things that, you know what? Choose one, Trace, and, 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 and we'll demonstrate. Okay, so check this out. Got off the couch. And you might be at home thinking, seriously? No, seriously. Seriously. That is a big deal. If you yeah. are going through depression, if you were feeling low, and you were able to spend a little bit of time off the couch doing something else, that's success. That's success. That is success. You want to pull one off? Yes. Another one you learned in your hobby. Ooh, you that's a big something. one. That's a big one. That's Some a big folks one. could not, you know, even think beyond trying anything new. And probably yeah. you did. Uh, you took the day off. 
Oh, that's a good you one. Set boundaries we all work. do that tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you cooked for yourself. You right? cooked for yourself. That would be a very big one for me. Um, so here's the thing. I, I, I love this idea of, of looking at success a little bit differently. differently. Yes. It's not always about achieving that big award or that big thing. It's not always about these big goals. I have a friend right now convalescing in the hospital, and her big thing is she can pull herself up from her bed over to her walker, use her walker to the vending machine, get a chocolate bar, come back. Like, she's winning. She's winning. Right? But she had to refocus what success is going to mean yeah. to her. Yes. Right? And a lot of folks will be doing that this year. So, again, um, remember that the small step that you take is the win. And begin there. Yes. And give yourself some room to create new traditions. But And I'd like to also mention it's important to put that oxygen mask on first. Yes. Right? And also look for help outside mm -hmm. with a professional if you do not have enough coping tools at home. Good and, stuff, um, create a memorable year. Absolutely, yeah. yeah, make it work for you. We yeah. definitely need this uh, during the holidays. Thank you, and I love the idea of this appreciation joy list and bingo list. To all of our viewers, if you ever have a question for Carla and she's so wise, or a topic you'd love to hear her perspective on, Send it in. Email us. We will answer your questions. We will deal with it in show. Email us at submissions at cityline.tv. You can also scan this QR code. Same goes for any question for any of our.